give charity a lot of charity wa aqimus salata wa atuz zakata wa ati'ur rasul la'allakum turhamun another verse of mercy of allah allah says establish your prayer you want the mercy of allah five daily prayers make sure they're there then when something negative is coming in your direction you can smile and thank allah and say ya allah i fulfill my salah i try to be the best person this cannot be your punishment in fact it is your mercy how many times my beloved brothers and sisters have negative things happened in our lives and two years later we realize that was the most positive thing ever had it not been for that i would not be where i am today Allahu Akbar. Hasn't it happened? But when it did happen, you were upset, you were sad, you were, you were whatever you were. Your iman was dwindling. That's why you were like that. You don't know, were you a bad, evil person? If not, by the will of Allah, this is the mercy. Look at Khadija binti Khuwailid radiallahu anha. When the Prophet sallallahu received first revelation, he came down the mount. Long story short, he came to Khadija radiallahu anha, asking her or telling her what happened. And this is what happened. And he says, hug me, give me a tight hug. Zammiluni, dathiruni, those statements. What did she say? No, never. It's impossible. I swear by Allah. He cannot ever let you down. Do you know why? You're a good man. That's what it was. You fulfill the rights of the people. You are honest and upright. You have done whatever it is. You solve people's problems. You help people. You look after the orphans and widows. How can Allah let you down? What you might have perceived to be something challenging is actually a blessing. Let me take you to someone I know. Subhanallah, her cousin, Waraka bin Nawfal. So even pre-Islam, people knew, you're a good person, don't worry. What's coming in your life? You made a massive accident. But you know what? You did your five salah that day. Forget about the accident. You wrote off your car. A limb was amputated. I swear, if the mercy of Allah is with it, you'll be content. And on top of that, you'll know, oh Allah. Oh Allah, for as long as you are pleased with me, never mind what's happening. Look at what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did in Ta'if. When they did what they did and you know, they abused, they tried, they did, they threw things at him. Blessed blood was flowing and gushing. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the great messenger, what did he say? He says, Allahumma hdi qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun. Oh Allah, guide my people, they don't know what they're doing. Number one. Number two, he says, oh Allah, for as long as you are not upset or angry with me, if you are pleased with me, everything else is by the way. Literally, that's what he said. Can we not say, did you fulfill your salah? Are you a good person? Do you harm others? Do you speak to them disrespectfully? Do you despise? Do you backbite and slander and spread gossip? If you are free from all of these sins, Allah will not let you down. You might lose your job. It's a blessing. Trust me, your hands or your, your hand that is filled with something is being released in order to fill both hands with something bigger. That's Allah. Have trust in Allah. You're looking for something for two years. No problem. Another four years. Then watch what happens.